continue with the transformer we are going to see today in this session with stage variables and before to that i take some copy of the job i have job 18 i'll take the copy of the job 18 and this is system where and this job gives you the system where and in this job we are going to discuss system stage variables stage where okay transformer stage where the job name has been defined properly Okay, job nineteen. It would be job nineteen. So, how the system variables will be defined, and how to set a system variable, and how do they execute? These all things we see today in this session. Before to that, before to that, I just. Uh, delete the mappings and the constraint also i'm going to remove and uh, in this session you will come to know about the system variable flow and transformer flow even transformer flow in the sense how does a transformer execute okay so we have seen one scenario before in uh, remove duplicate using remove duplicate stage copy stage in that uh, scenario what we have done is uh, we got uh, department number wise unique records and duplicate records means for example there are three ten department values employees are three three in the department three employees are there 20th department five employees are there 30th department six employees are there so the first 10th department employee and the second 10th department employee and the third 30th department employee 10 21 each employee one employee should move into one output and repeated of those employees duplicates those are treated as duplicates when you take only department number as one column but it's not actually a duplicate it is a uh, like a when you take the combination of all the columns and if the repeated value come it is a duplicate value but it is a repeated value so now i want two outputs which i want to capture one into one in three records of each one department one record one employee record should go to one output and the repeated of other two which are treated like duplicates uh, when you come, when you take only department number those employees should go to another output the scenario already we are done with uh, we are done in uh, using remove duplicate stage and uh, sort stage but in this we are going to discuss with uh, with stage variables in the transformer okay first of all i will give you some examples of stage variable then we go for uh, this uh, scenario okay so first of all if you go here we have a constant tab and this is your stage properties when you go to stage properties you can see stage variables either you can define from here like sv1 so normally in the naming conversions most of the cases people will give naming as sv1 or else the flow the process of that particular condition so in stage variables i can define some variable temporary variables so those variables functionality wise the naming would be like but it will start with sv stage variable employee name means for example or employee account number so employee account number uh, taking from a bank and employee id number would be two digits of uh, employees uh, number and the uh, two digits of uh, employees account number the first two this should concatenate then that is your employees uh, 
uh, some uh, account number or something else like that. In that case, that is a functionality. So then as we employ number and give that name. And based on the location, I want some uh, employees details. The SV location to uh, find uh, employees uh, location wise information. So like that we have uh, the naming wise, the functionality wise, the naming of the stage variable will be given. And uh, Frank, it, it is like uh, openly like or like uh, the naming would be SV. It will starts with SV. So here I want to define one condition before in the variable stage variable like derivation part if i want to show and i have written one condition so if department number if department number equals to 10 then what i want to write i want to write in a string it is a 10 Else again, I'm going to write if the else condition if department number is equal to 20, then I want to make it as 20. And else it should be 30. So this is my stage variable. So the stage variable, if you want to define, you can go to stage variable properties from here itself. Else you can go ahead with the stage properties tab and go to stage variables tab in the stage page. So the naming I want to give SVD name, department name I want to find. I want only department number 20, employees information in ds link 4 so i want to give a constraint so here also i have a constraint tab else i can double click on this constraint so automatically i get the pop-up of a constraint tab window so here what i'm going to do i'm going to use this stage variable svd name equals to what is the output either 10 or 20 or 30 so i want to provide 30 thi or ty 30 i'll provide 30 so in DS link 4, I'm providing 30. And in DS link 16, I want to provide provide 20. So these are the two variables that I have provided, stage variables. So now how it executes? Directly, if I don't give this variable, and directly if I give SVD name, it is a compile time error. It cannot compile even because it cannot find SVD name stage variable in the constraint. So I given here SVD name in the stage variable pan. Then only you can identify the next level. It can identify here generally. What is the flow of a transformer? People will ask in interviews maybe like this. What is the flow of a transformer? Stage variables. First, it will execute stage variables. How many stage variables you can write? You can write a number, but it is like recommended is 25 stage variables only you can write. That is a performance wise best technique. Apart from that, if you write more based on your server configuration and all, you need to check. But recommended is 25 up to one particular stage. Okay. And the stage variables values will be used within the stage. You cannot drag those values to the next level. The stage variable you cannot drag. The output of that stage variable you can pull through the derivation. Now, stage variables I have assumed that I have can write up to uh, 25 based on the server. If you have more having more uh, configuration of the server and all, up to 250 stage variables also you can write. There is no issue. Okay. So now I have identified a CV SVD name because stage variable has been defined. First stage variable will execute. How many stage variables you write? One by one, the stage variables will be executed. And in the temporary memory, it puts the output of the stage variable. And next it goes to the looping condition. If you are using that stage variable, then that value will be called into that variable name. Else it goes to constraint. In constraints, if you are using the test stage variable name, it will bring that value from the temporary memory and it goes to the derivation part. 
So the flow of the transformer will execute in this way. So if someone asks you, um, the stage variables uh, flow, or oh, no, no, I'm not, I'm sorry, transformer flow. So they are expecting to ex uh, explain which is the first uh, will be executed. So stage variables, and next to looping variables, looping conditions, next to constraints, next derivation. So this is, and you have your derivation of two outputs. So two outputs, after this DS link four, then it goes to DS link 16. So these are the flow of a transformer. So the, the order, the order, water flow order like. Water flow means you get one pan first and second, third and fourth. So the order is uh, the same way. The transformer also will be flowed in the same way. Now I'll try to run and see how many uh, records will flow into which output. Based on that, we can discuss the stage variables options. I'm running on single load. So total six records into one output, that is 30th department records. You can see in this output only 30th department records. And in another output, we have only department number 20th department records. See, but nowhere I have given a uh, filter condition with a department name, uh, sorry, a department number based on 10, 20, 30. I have given based on the stage variable, whatever I have uh, uh, written in a stage variable, that stage variable value I have uh, used to filter the data. Getting right. So this is a stage variable and the flow of the transformer and the, what are the stage? Stage variables are temporary memory. See, for example, if I delete this stage variable now. Delete stage variable. Yes. Now try to run. If you, it will throw error at the compile time only. Because what it is saying, if you want to understand more, you can click on more. DS name not defined. So without defining, D name, SVD name, how can we go to, how can we go for this constraint? So this stage variable is not able to identify it anywhere. So that is the issue where it cannot resolve. So you can put stage variable properties tab and you can say SVD name. Click OK and place the condition. Now compile. Anyhow, we have run the job and we have uh, got the results. So we'll we'll uh, see only at random, and then uh, view the data on the records. I mean, on the rows. I'm sorry. So here, the page six and five. So this is just the introduction of your stage variable. In the next video, we'll discuss with uh, stage variables one. Uh, one uh, scenario which I discussed uh, starting of this video. In this session, I'm not able to do that. In the next session, immediately this section, we will start with stage variables and uh, see the flow of uh, transformer again. And uh, there I can write three stage variables and I'll explain you clearly the flow of uh, capturing the duplicates and new records. Thanks for watching this video. Thanks for your time.